In this video, I'm going to show you how to naturally place any object, any prop inside your scene. This way you don't have to place them manually by hand, having to align them. And instead, you place them more organically and more naturally how they would appear in the world by using one simple function, and that's simulate physics. And you can use this for large objects or for small objects. And it's one of the best ways to place props into your scene organically. So let's get into it. I am going to use the retro office scene we created in the course in UE5, the retro office project. And in the course, I provide all these assets for you to create uh, the retro office with. And that's what we're going to use as an example. So you need to have a set of static meshes to use to position into the world more naturally and organically. So just drag all the static meshes you want to use to place in your level. I'm going to use the binders and a few set of books to show you. So uh, let's grab these uh, six items, two binders and four books, and just drag them into the world. And I'm just going to position them and move them up and then rotate them so they're flat. Um, you don't have to rotate them. You could just use them as they are coming into the world. But I kind of want to you know, use the physics of these objects to spread them a little bit more naturally as, uh, as they fall down. But it will work without you having to rotate them uh, flat. So I'm just going to separate them and give them a little bit of space because uh, once the simulation is run, they will interact with each other. So certain books will uh, fall on top of the other. And I just want to make sure maybe binder is on the bottom. And you can also go ahead and rotate them a little bit. Every time you run a simulation, you'll get a different outcome. So it's not going to create the same layout because uh, every single time you run simulation, uh, the results will be different. So once you have all of these inserted and kind of spaced apart, all of your props or, or any other static mesh you inserted, go ahead and select them all. And then you need to go to details panel and under physics, you want to enable simulate physics. As soon as you do that, the mobility of these static meshes, by default, they were set to static, they will become movable, they will become dynamic. So go ahead and uh, enable simulate physics on the selected props. And you can see that change to movable. Now, all you need to do is run simulation. Now, let me show you if I spawn into the world by playing from here, it'll run the simulation and it'll drop the books down on the floor, interacting with the desk and, every, and you know, all the other uh, objects around it. But as soon as you hit escape, they're back in their natural state where you inserted them. Now, we want to go ahead and drop them to the floor and then save their state on the floor. So we don't have to spawn into the world. We just run a simulation. Now, I need to go ahead and select them again. And let's run our simulation. So to do that, you just simply come over here, use this drop down menu and enable simulate. The shortcut key is Alt S. As soon as you do that, the books will fall down. If you like their position, all you need to do is while you're still running the simulation, hit K. This will save the state for the selection. Make sure you have the selection of the items. If you don't have the selection and you run the simulation, no state can be saved. So it only saves the state for the selected props, for the selected static meshes. Now, once you are happy with this, go ahead and hit escape. It will now, let me undo, it will keep that state. However, if you spawn into the level, they are dynamic objects. So you'll actually start kicking them around and interacting with them. And this is not probably what you want. So let me hit escape. And the next thing you need to do is uh, disable the simulate physics to make sure that they are just static objects. So I'm going to select these props again and then go to the details panel and disable simulate physics. And let's change the mobility type back to static because I want them just to be static meshes. And now if I go ahead and spawn into the map, the state of these has been saved. I can walk around and they're not going to be movable. They're not dynamic. They're static meshes now placed on the floor. And these books are now placed a lot more naturally and organically. And especially for things like this, uh, this will be incredibly difficult to position on top, especially for some uh, items. Uh, if uh, you have an angle, such as uh, some of these right here, or like some of the, these two binders, this is what I used. Uh, and I just used uh, simulate physics on all of these items to position them more naturally. And this is a much better, more effective and more organic and natural way to position your props. Now, the important part, whenever you do this, your objects have to have collision. 
if they do not have collision, you will not be able to run simulate physics. So to show you, let me go ahead and raise these up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm just going to use one. I don't need to use all of them. Let me undo. Let me just drag uh, this book right here that we haven't used. And I'm just going to raise it up. So if I open up the static mesh editor, just to show you this object, this book has a, a collision enabled and created for it. So if you go to show simple collision, you see that bounding box, the green bounding box, that's the collision for this item. And you have to have collision enabled and created for your props for this technique to work. If you don't, you have to create the collision and you can do this either inside your 3D model and application, such as Maya or Blender or some other 3D app, or you can use the static mesh editor and go under here and go to collision and use any of these presets or maybe even run auto convex collision, which uh, gives you a little bit more options to use. Now, if I don't have collision, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to delete, remove this collision. So now we don't have anything. So let me go ahead and make sure I have this selected. Let's run simulate physics. And actually we can't even run simulate physics because you can see it's grayed out. So if you have this grayed out and you just unable to run it, that is why. So just come back here, make sure you create your collisions. Once you have your collisions, now this will become available to you and you can run it. Place your item, make sure the item is selected, hit K to save the state, exit, make sure you go back to details panel, disable simulate physics and set it to a static object. Now, if you want to get access and learn how to create and light beautiful interior environments entirely inside UE5, download UE5 Retro Office Project course. This course will we go through and we create this interior environment, a set of offices. You get access to all the modular meshes, as well as the props themselves to detail the world with, to create the retro office. And we go through all the steps of creating the boundaries of the world, and then how to light this environment. And we actually cover two different types of lighting. We go through the nighttime as well as daytime. So we have interior environment that is away from the directional light. And then we have uh, parts of the environment that are exposed to the directional sunlight. And there's a lot more covered in this course, such as how to add sound, how to do post process, and you will learn everything you need to know how to create beautiful interior environments, how to light them, how to post process them, and the entire workflow process from start to finish.